Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a lunar eclipse reading for the earth signs, that is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So the lunar eclipse will be taking place on November 30th. So during this lunar eclipse, there are going to be some major changes happening in our lives in terms of family, career, finances, um, there may be some choices that you are finally able to make, finally gather um, a conclusion about a certain situation or issue. Um, some of you may be indecisive about making a decision regarding um, certain aspects of your life, but for the most part, all of us will be experiencing some type of change during this lunar eclipse, whether it's internally or externally. So this lunar eclipse is going to take place in the sign of Gemini, which is the twin. So just be mindful um, of your energy, your emotions, because tensions will rise for some people during this lunar eclipse. Um, there may be um, more, people may be more prone to get into disagreements and arguments. So definitely be very um, cognizant of your emotional state and of um, how you express yourself during this time. So I'm going to jump into it and see what message your spirit has for you. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So spirit, what messages do you have for the earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Messages for the earth signs. Okay. I have coming apart. I have ride the wave in the reverse. Okay. I have follow the leader in the reverse. I have magical map shifter. And I have field of dreams in the reverse. I heard I feel like giving up. So some of you feel like giving up, throwing in the towel when it comes to a relationship, a connection. You are considering going your separate ways, separating. For some of you, this may be a divorce, but it's like you're no longer um, in touch with each other. You have grown apart. You're on two different paths. And I feel that this is going to create a new cycle for you, a new beginning in your life by walking away from this connection. It's like with the field of dreams in the reverse, it's like you are no longer hopeful when it comes to the situation. You no longer um, are optimistic about things working out. So let's pull some tarot. Spirit, give me a message for coming apart. I have the Eight of Wands. So yes, you are making a very quick decision in terms of moving forward, in terms of ending this connection. It's like you're not thinking about this. Your mind has already been made up and you are walking away. You no longer want to invest in this relationship. 
I feel like for some of you, I heard a long time coming. This has been a long time coming. I feel that you have tried to work on things. You have tried to invest. You have tried to put in the time and the energy, but things never seem to work out the way that you wanted them to. And it's like you're finally tired of pouring into a situation where you do not see results. So you are walking away. For some of you, it's like you may just abruptly move out. I can just see someone packing their bags, putting their clothes in their suitcase, and just moving out, leaving the situation. I feel like for some of you, this may happen after you get into like a heated argument. And just on the spur of the moment, you may just start packing your clothes, getting your belongings together, and you may just leave. Let's get a message for Ride the Wave in the reverse. Yeah, I see an argument taking place and you just abruptly leaving. Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. Yes, riding the wave. You are no longer happy when it comes to this relationship. I feel like before things were going really good and like now there has been like a major shift. You may argue a lot. Um, you may not really communicate with each other like you used to. There's a disconnect when it comes to this connection. And you're not happy. You're no longer happy being with this person. So you are walking away. You are moving into a different direction. You no longer want to be involved with this person. Let's get a message for follow the leader in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. I feel like for some of you, you try to work against your own intuition, like your own inner knowing when it comes to this relationship. I feel like things have been bad for a while, but you try to stay and make it work. Like you were not happy um, for a very long time with this person, but you still try to stay and make it work. But in the end, things just could not come together. Things did not um, go in the direction that you wanted. Let's get a message from Magic, Magical Map Shifter. Okay, so I have the Three of Discs, which is the Three of Pentacles. I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. I have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. 
I have the Four of Swords and I have the Three of Wands in the reverse. Yes, you are walking away. You're no longer conflicted, confused about what you want to do when it comes to this relationship. And you are at peace about your decision. You do not see a future with this person. You know that things are not going to improve. And you are at peace. It's like you have given all that you could to this situation and things are not working out. You are choosing to go in a direction where you will be supported, where there will be um, more of a collaboration. So for some of you, it's like you may be choosing to focus more on your career, more on an endeavor, um, instead of putting all of your energy into this relationship, instead of putting like all of your eggs into one basket it's like no you're picking up your eggs you're gathering them and you're putting them into your basket instead of leaving them in this person's basket it's like you're learning to fill your own cup instead of trying to pour into this person and give to this relationship so yes it's like you're using this time this moment this experience to start doing what makes you happy and i heard an endeavor so yes some of you are choosing to work on an endeavor instead of concerning your Yourself with this relationship which is creating a new cycle in your life a new beginning um of many possibilities different opportunities so many doors are going to open for you i heard success so you are going to find success on this new journey because you are finally focusing on you you're investing in yourself and it's like you are at peace about your decision it's like you've given all that you could to the situation and you are deciding to no longer invest the energy. You're deciding to give to yourself. So let's get a message for the field of dreams in the reverse. I have the five of wands in the reverse. Yes, you are not conflicted. Like I said, you are at peace about your decision. You're no longer conflicted about what you want to do. It's like you have come to realize that you are not going to be happy. You are not going to find fulfillment with this person. So you are choosing to walk away. You have not been happy for a long time. But you tried to stay and make it work, but you just realized that you can't. And like I said, for some of you, I just envisioning an argument taking place and just you leaving abruptly. You just finally developing the courage to say enough is enough and to walk away. So let's get one more message. Seven heavenly virtues, key to goodness. You just want what's good for in your life. You just want your life to be good. You just want to be happy. You just want what's good for yourself. That is all you want. That is all you're asking for. You're not asking for a lot. You just want to be happy. And you just realize this person cannot give it to you. So you're just deciding to finally do what makes you happy. To bring happiness into your life on your own, by your own decisions, by your own efforts. That's all you want. You just want what is good for yourself. The last message is enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. So yes, yeah, some of you have been evolving, have been changing when it comes to your spirituality, your spiritual beliefs. I feel like... Um, you and this person may be on two different pages. It's like when you first met, you both wanted the same thing. You both um, were very like-minded, but I feel that you started to change. And as you started to evolve, it's like that's where the rift um, 
started to take place because this person was still, you know, they still had the same visions, the same dreams. But by you becoming more spiritual, it's like you changed as a person and you want someone who matches your energy. You want someone who is very spiritual as well. And this person isn't. So it's like that is when you started to grow apart once you started your spiritual evolution. So, yes, you are growing. You are changing. You are becoming more enlightened, in tune with self, in tune with spirit. So, I hope that this message resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.